So, you know, what's this, right? Let's roll the intro. Hey, what's up? It's always me, Johnny. And today we're gonna talk about, you already guessed, and it's written in the title actually, but we are talking about the Quest 2 that I have right here. And I have some first impression. As you may know, it's very particular. So it's not a full review because there are a lot of things to say about this uh, headset, actually, this VR headset. And so I will not cover everything in this video, of course. These are just my first impressions. But first of all, I have to thanks the sponsor of this video. I'm just kidding. I have to thanks my girlfriend because she gifted me that Quest 2. So I have to say thanks to her because finally I have it here and I can test it and I can do every video that I want and actually that you want. And this was her gift for our anniversary. But if you want to know my gift for her, just check her channel down below. I will put it probably down below in the descriptions or maybe in the comments, you will find her channel. So as you probably know, I just received a few days ago, so I didn't test everything as I said before. I still have to test a lot of apps, a lot of games, a lot of usage that you can do with this VR headset. And also I have to say that this isn't my first VR headset that I've tried in my life because I've tried also one of the first one of this Oculus uh, headset. And I think it was maybe the Rift or one of the first one. I don't know. I can't remember right now the actual name of that headset, but it was that one with the sensors that you had to put like around your room to track you. And also you have the cables around the headset. So it was pretty old compared to this one, but it was actually a few, a few years ago, like I think four or five years ago, I just tested uh, that one. And then we have this one that it is like a lot, a lot better. So let's talk about the first usage of this headset and let's talk about how comfortable it is. And actually many people just complain about the weight of this Oculus and also the straps that goes around your head aren't that good or maybe they are too hard and stuff like that. But uh, for me, there isn't that much of a problem because I just tried for like a few hours, two or three hours consecutive and I didn't feel any pressure, just a little bit on the right side of my head, on the front of the head. I don't know why, but it was just once. And other than that, I didn't feel any pain just wearing the headset for like a few hours consecutive. I don't know, maybe some people are just wearing this headset for maybe four or, or plus hours or maybe eight hours. And then you can start to feel the weight of, your, of the headset on your head or maybe the strap that are going around your head. They are maybe uncomfortable, but if you are using it for a short period of time, I mean, we can say short, but I'm talking about two or three hours. I don't think I don't think you got any problem with this strap, with the default strap. Also, the controllers are very strange, actually, but they are very, very comfortable. They are just made for your hands. I mean, you can reach any buttons with ease. You have a joystick right here. You have some buttons. You have some triggers around the around the joystick and it is very, very comfortable. It does have some vibration. It is not uh, super strong, but it is there. You can feel it very well. And actually it can track your end very, very good. And it is very responsive in my opinion. Then let's talk about the audio on this headset. And in my opinion, it is very good. I mean, it is not like super, super loud. It is not very precise, we can say, but it is special. You can hear clearly everything. You can identify very easily where the sound is coming from. You don't have any problem with the default audio on the headset. Plus, if you want to connect like some pair of headphones, you can do that also. But for now, in my example, I am good with the default audio on the on the headset itself. Then, as I was saying before, on this headset, there are a lot of features and actually they are adding more and more with the time. So it is receiving updates after updates and so it gets better and better. And for example, one cool feature that I found it very, very useful, it is to tap twice on your headset 
to see what it is around you. After some time that you play, you can tap it twice so you can see where are you because especially if you are playing so you are moving a little bit and so you move around your room and if you want to see where are you actually or maybe if a person is coming to you you can tap it twice and you can see it through the cameras on the headset and actually another great feature that has been added like a few months ago i think because i didn't have the headset back then but uh, right now i can enable it i think it's just on beta status or something like that there is the hand tracking mode so you can just leave your controller on the table or whatever you want and you can use your hands i mean it can track your hand because it does have some cameras right here i don't know if you can see it around the headset there are a lot of cameras i think there are just four on the front and so it can track very easily your hand and it is working pretty good but the idea of it it is very very cool actually and there are some games that supports the hand gestures and stuff like that so it's very 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 cool so overall the experience with these kind of headsets is just very cool very cool it is great and actually if you haven't already tried one i suggest you to to try it somehow i don't know maybe in a in a store or maybe to one of your friends, I don't know, just try it because it is very, very cool and it is unique in my opinion. And it is pretty much the future because, I mean, it's my opinion, but it is not only uh, my opinion. So in a near future, there will be like a better version of this one. This one is quite good actually, but they will come up for sure with a better version. And I mean, other than play with it and maybe meet your friends around the world, you can just work with it so you can do a lot of stuff from professional type of stuff to just playing with some friends it is really really cool actually just because it is very immersive so you just put the headset on and you just can start to feel like in another world and we can say that this one is just a primitive version of what we can see in the future so i am very hyped for that because I think we could do like a lot of stuff with this and also helpful stuff in any field we can say also in the health field for example but for now in my opinion is still a more uh, fun thing so pretty much every user that has this uh, quest 2 it is using it for playing pretty much and i mean that's okay but you can actually use this one too for a professional use if you want but as I was saying before, this will be the future for sure. And it will be for sure one of those kind of thing that you must have, like a smartphone, for example. So let me know down below in the comments if you did try already this Quest 2 or maybe any other VR headset and how was your experience. And if you believe that this type of technology is just the future, let me know it down below in the in the comments because i am curious about that also if you like this video just leave a like down below i mean it's free and if you see the red button just click it because it does mean that you are not subscribed and do the right thing just hit the subscribe button thank you for watching this video and i will see you in my next one bye for now